all right all right good morning today it is the 29th of january and the time is about 9 30 a.m in the morning i am in nafpilio in uh, the region of peloponnesus and right out of the gate i can tell you this place is absolutely worth a visit this is gorgeous it is so peaceful the people are like in a good mood uh, when when you go the, the interaction is quite positive so and also the castle over there the town itself and it is also friendly for the campers and for those who travel uh, in their cars like me uh, my car is a small car but i i will show you there are quite uh, few campers park here there is mercedes there is like fiat and there is all of those 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 cars my dream cars one day i want to buy a mercedes sprinter so it is also friendly for the campers nobody is telling you to leave or the attitude of people is positive and nice towards uh, camper travelers yeah uh, so now we will be taking a walk. Uh, this is like a walking path. This is a concrete walking path until some area and then the rest is like a stone, a stone made structure. But over there, that little castle in the water looks absolutely gorgeous in the night time. So good for uh, seaside walk and all of that stuff. So we will be taking a walk uh, into Nafpilio and we will be exploring this beautiful seafront uh, seaside town. Yeah, it, it already has stolen my heart. It's really, really, really beautiful. Yeah, I would want to come here many times. Yeah, it's a very beautiful place. So this is where the campers are parked and I am also parked over there. I will show you my car compared to these big campers looks like a small little tiny <laughs> stone. I really wish to buy a, a, a Mercedes Benz like this one. And this is where I am parked. Yeah. It's, it's quite efficient when it comes to going into the mountains and uh, when it comes to like doing some off-roading. This is a good car. It can, 
maneuver easily and it can do things that the bigger cars and long cars cannot do but still space Im space is important when it comes to uh, traveling with a car and camping from uh, places to places space is important thing space becomes important to to be able to stand and to be able to sit and it it kind of helps to work also a little bit uh, comfortably anyways so this video is not about campers and not about uh, lifestyle uh, traveling lifestyle or camping uh, van lifestyle this video is about Navpilio which we are about to walk into this beautiful beautiful place Camera. Today, tomorrow is, and the day after tomorrow, I guess until Wednesday, it's gonna be uh, a bit cloudy and it's gonna, it is showing that the weather is going to be uh, a little bit rainy in this uh, region. But after Wednesday, it's gonna be totally sunny and it's gonna turn, uh, it will be, the warm will be about 20 degrees and the cold at night is gonna be about 12 degrees which is pretty sweet conditions to be in uh, yeah so it's 2024 I'm talking about uh, this year of the weather I wish to stay here a little bit longer but for some uh, uh, legal purposes uh, I am uh, traveling back to Kriti on Wednesday. Uh, there is one place, I don't know the name, but uh, that place has a boat taking me from uh, that port to Kisamos, Khania, and then the rest towards Hiraklion, I will drive. So yeah, good news. I will be back in, on Crete and uh, pumping up some videos from there. and. Uh, uh, then I will uh, I will continue making videos there and I will be also showing you uh, my w w the, my way from uh, uh, where I'm taking the boat and when I'm going towards uh, Kisamos Hania Kriti and right now here we are at the second huge parking there is uh, they are loading and unloading the the ships over there but i can see again a parking area here and also a bunch of uh, camper vans in this area as well and even further so in entire greece after kriti uh, navpilio is the uh, the first place that i see at once too many camper vans like m many of them uh, uh, more than 20 or 30 is already here uh, yeah so it's 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 quite uh, friendly for the camper vans as well and if you are into a lifestyle such lifestyle then this region this part of greece uh, is a good option yeah and the rest there are some some cargo cars and loading and unloading uh, other stuff
On my left side, there is school. There is one or two coffee shops. Uh, and it's the, like also there is a street. I also see the, the train uh, lines as well. But I'm not sure why the train is uh, there. There are no trains anymore. Maybe once there was a train. Oh, I can see the train. I will show it to you. So this place is completely new for me. I I wouldn't I won't I'm not claiming that I'm an expert and I'm showing you and I'm telling you what to do. I'm just exploring and figuring things out by myself and I'm sharing this experience with you guys. Yeah. With you ladies, gentlemen, boys, girls, all of you. Let me show you the train. And also in front of, as we can see, enough parking, huge parkings everywhere. Look at this train, wow. It is very old fashioned. But I'm glad that they, they still have kept it nice and colored it red and gold and dark brown. And the cabins, it looks beautiful. Cafe Neon, so this, this compartment was the coffee shop of the train, yeah, or maybe later they built it. Nafpilio, Nafpilio, Nafpilio. So on the right side, uh, it's very important to know where the parkings are uh, in a city in case if you are not willing to be parked in that area with the camper so then we have the city parking it's uh, camping overnight is prohibited in this area but on the right side left side huge 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 parking yeah and I think here in this area we have uh, it seems to me like public uh, possibly public toilets yeah so here we have parking on the right side and right in front of us we have more parking and from here we have a very beautiful view towards the castle up there and the city begins kind of from this area Uh, I really like the architecture of the city. I really like the way the city is. The people are warm. Everything is nice and beautiful. But I have to bring one thing that if we look at uh, this place as a summer place and beach wise close to the city, I don't think I have noticed a significant beach that I will choose to uh, go and spend time. 
yeah, the, when it comes to beaches and when it comes to relax time, I think Kriti always wins. Kriti always wins. It's like you, that's your resort, that's your hotel you are staying, and then you drive five minutes, you are in one of the most magnificent and beautiful beaches. No matter which direction in Kriti you drive and you go, you find beautiful beaches uh, uh, all over the place. We have two sides to the city. One is the seafront side and one is the inner city. So in this video, I will, I, because it's my first time, I, I'm not, I, I don't know so much about uh, this place. I will just kind of go with the flow. I will not try to say, do this or do that. We will just explore everything together, okay? And then if I'm making any mistakes, Please correct me in the comment section and let me know that if I was not right. And on the left side, we have all of them are coffee shop and restaurants. So like restaurants, pizza restaurants. This town is really beautiful and cute and distinguished to take a walk. And here, this in this area from here, the view towards that castle over there is just beautiful. Look at that. So, 
So in this very few moments that I am walking within the town, what are my thoughts? What, what is the feeling, the first vibe, that the first hit that you get? It is absolutely astonishing. If you haven't visited this place, this town yet, I highly recommend visiting this place. It's uh, very magnificent. It's a very different side of Greece and it has a very unique feel and unique touch to it, which is, which is similar, but very different to the rest of the places. Believe me, you're gonna, you're gonna have a good time if you visit this place. So over there on the right side, we have a yacht uh, port and right in front of it, we have this very beautiful uh, place with palm trees and with outside sitting area and inside sitting area, restaurants, gift shops and coffee shops. Calimera. In real life, it looks way, way beautiful than what you see in this video. Yeah, this one looks a nice one to sit and enjoy a coffee. I should mention the Venetian architecture of this town is breathtaking uh, and also it has uh, similarities and familiarities uh, with the old Venetian town of Hania and also the old Venetian town of Ritimno. So we can walk into any street and we can uh, have ourselves a little maze and a little bit exploration and a little bit of photography uh, session around these buildings. Yeah, I mean, look at them. No matter what street you enter, it's just absolutely beautiful and it's absolutely amazing. I didn't know till this very uh, second that what exists behind th these restaurants. Now that I am going there, I'm just like, wow, boy, it is even more beautiful than I was anticipating or than, uh, more beautiful than I was trying to tell you. I am 100% sure if you are walking here with your friend, boyfriend, girlfriend, maybe wife, husband, just uh, holding hands and walking in this, in this area. It, you, it's, it's absolutely made for that. It's absolutely made for that. Come on, you gotta give that a try.
Wow, look at those old pictures of this place. Amazing. Close till the end of February. So now we know when to when uh, to be expecting for this taverna and kind of this town to be open and uh, providing uh, much more touristic services. I noticed that the tourist services, uh, fun services, are already functioning here. We have boats that is taking uh, people to that uh, castle over there in the sea. That's available. There are bike tours available. Many, many activities available. You can check them online and you can read more about it. Those are all available. Yeah, so it's not like it's a completely dead town. No, 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 no. It's very lively. There is life going on. And uh, if you notice, you have in here one strong uh, sound of a uh, horn, uh, which, which nobody is in rush. Everybody is in in very chill, chill mood. <laughs> I don't want to put myself under a car, so they they make the noise. So here we have another parking area. And that's the castle in the sea. It looks so beautiful. Just to look at it. And at the night time, it looks also gorgeous and beautiful because it is very well lit, illuminated. Uh, so they have done a very good job of uh, doing some lighting work. It looks nice. It looks beautiful. It gives you a very good, pleasant feeling to look at uh, this castle at the night time, as well as the castle over there at the top of this mountain. It is also very nicely lit that you can just be here and take a walk uh, after your dinner and just enjoy the beauty of looking at this beauty that which you have in front of you so well done well done well done well done this town is Nafpilu absolutely worth it it enters the list of the cities to me such as uh, Khania uh, uh, Retimno uh, like let's say Matala also goes in that list, a very beautiful place. Uh, okay, the old town of uh, Rodos, absolutely amazing. And of course, Santorini is just a living beauty. Just to be there, regardless of its crowd and everything, is just an amazing place to be. And this, <coughs> excuse me, and this town, Nafpilu, this city is without any question ask is entering one of those beautiful amazing cities that you can just be and feel the city feel the vibe and just get fulfilled with 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 positivity and get fulfilled with with this nice peaceful happy emotions that will take you another two three months throughout your life and struggles in the city <laughs> I want to take the time to thank my Patreons. You have been an absolute uh, champions, helping and being and staying there 
and thanks to those of you who have been sending me donations uh, in my PayPal account. Thank you so much. That's really, really nice of you. Uh, it's been really, really helpful. Uh, and uh, yeah, and if you are somebody who, who wants to join the, join the team champions, you are more than welcome. Let's get back to our exploration. This is now getting even more epic. First, I was planning on walking uh, on the seaside, but now I see here a very beautiful church, a nice, uh, beautiful square. So I will walk there, show you that first, and then we will come back and walk uh, to show you these uh, amazing, beautiful coffee shops in this area. It is starting to rain a little bit. If it was like a place that I was not so much invested in, I would say, oh, it started raining. Let's finish the video. See you in the next one. But this is no matter if it will be raining or if it will be snowing or even if stones will be dropping from the sky, I will be still continuing to explore this uh, beautiful, amazing city, Uh Yeah, it's so beautiful. You really want to take the time to explore this town. And now I hope you have an idea about like, okay, it's not just the, like a seafront side place. No, we have all over this place treasure. Look at this, this beautiful uh, Volkswagen that they have cut and turned one half to be a sitting place and put a table in front of it. Very creative, very creative. And the tables are thick wood olive wood possibly looks magnificent
calimera. Calimera. This absolutely looks familiar with the seafront side of Ritimno, but a little bit different. And now I'm talking because there is music and we don't want to get a copyright claim. But uh, from these coffee shops, which are at this part, this particular part, the view toward the castle is so, 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 so beautiful. Let me walk you there. Yeah. I really like the fact that they didn't kind of close the entire place by putting restaurants and uh, commercial things. So that part, let's say restaurants, you have the option to comfortably sit uh, inside or outside, enjoy the view and order yourself something to eat or drink. And then they have left this entire area with seats, uh, here so if you are somebody who just wants to grab a coffee and have a private conversation a little bit away uh, from the restaurant or from the music or whatever it's up to you it's your life man however you like to wish uh, wish to live it you can live it that way so i'm glad that there is like ultimate freedom for you to choose where to sit you want to sit here or you want to sit in the restaurant and then from here this walking path continues and we have more restaurants over there and we have like a lighthouse over there that you can go and it is right situated towards the castle so from there you can take very beautiful pictures and then from here if we go uh, straight then there are stairs that you can walk up hill and uh, explore more of this place which we are about to do that right now we are doing it Oh, I really truly love this house. I want to live in it with all this greenery around it. It's covered in love. It almost has this heavenish feeling to it when a house is covered, covered this much in green. Calimera. Okay, so if we go this way, more restaurants, more coffee, caffeineos. If we go upstairs, 
what I see, possibly hotels, Airbnbs, or maybe possibly a, a very beautiful view. And if we go straight, then a walking path with beautiful view. And if you are watching Julia and Paul, thank you so much for this recommendations, uh, for this recommendation. And thank you so much for uh, the coffee and for insisting me to, 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 to come to this side of uh, Greece. Yeah, thank you so much. It's been a blast since I'm here. I'm just enjoying and I'm in a very elevated positive mood and thanks to you yeah and if you are watching if you are someone who, who who's who if you are someone who hasn't been is that is it correct correct English Okay, I was saying, if you are someone who haven't or hasn't, I don't really know, been here, uh, it is a must. If you, if, you, if you don't visit this place, it means you are missing out on a lot. Yeah. And here we have another parking place. Including nice, very well-made stairs that you can approach this part let me take my hand out and the parking itself All right, so it is not enough. It is absolutely not enough for Navpilio for exploring this amazing, beautiful town. There is a lot more to it to be explored. There is a lot of more nice, beautiful maze streets, back streets filled with beautiful coffee shops and restaurants that can be explored. And you should do it by yourself. So the rain is picking up slowly, slowly getting stronger. So. Uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and ho I hope uh, it was a bit inspiring for you and motivating to visit this place. Uh, if, you, if so, then let me know in the comment section. Also give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you want to support the channel and support me, my PayPal account link and my Patreon account link in the description. That will be much appreciated. And if you are already having a good time and if you are being entertained, then consider subscribing. Other than that, until the next time, peace.